Fellow, the Project Specialist at BJS Biotechnologies, creators of the Express qPCR Thermal Cycler. In this video, I'm going to show you just how quick and simple the Express is to use. I'm going to perform a reaction to detect the 18S rRNA housekeeping gene using human genomic DNA as the template and a Kappa Biosystems Cyberfast kit. I'll make enough reaction mixture to perform a 20 microliter reaction in triplicate. So to start with, I take 40 microliters of the Kappa Cyberfast Supermix. Next up, I take 28 microliters of nucleose free water. I then add in 4 microliters of my forward primer and 4 microliters of my reverse primer. And finally, four microliters of my human genomic DNA template. I'm going to mix all this together. use a 24 well X plate for this so I just open it here and place it onto my holding rack and I'm going to put 20 microliters into each well a heat seal on my X plate to stop evaporation during the PCR. These heat seals are being specifically chosen by BJS Biotechnologies because their optical properties are compatible with the Express Optic system. When you place on the heat seal you need to make sure that the cutoff corner is matched up to the cutoff corner on the plate so that the correct side gets welded on. The machine operates at 175 degrees Celsius for one and a half seconds and you simply press the handle down to operate. I now need to centrifuge my X plate and this is done at 4000 reps per minute for 30 seconds. It's done to thoroughly mix my reagents and also make sure that they're well pressed onto the bottom of the well for optimal heat transfer. Now I place my X plate into the express. I open the door using this button here and place the plate onto the locating pins, making sure that the cutoff corner is in the bottom right hand side. This here is the home screen of the express user interface. It's been designed by biotechnologists to make it both intuitive and easy to use. It operates using a touch screen, fully functional even with lab gloves on. There are currently three tabs available for use. In the analysis tab is a list of all the previous run results. Click on any of these to enter and view the results. The history tab lists all the previous run protocols performed on that machine. Click on any of these to load that particular protocol and use it again. The final tab is the Design Experiment tab, which enables users to create an experiment from scratch, 
which is what I'll show you in this video. First select the type of PCR to be performed, whether it's a two-step PCR or three-step PCR for example. Click the next button to confirm. On the next page, select whether probe or cyber-based chemistry is being used. This brings up a list of some of the kit manufacturers that have been optimised on the Express machine. It's by no means an exhaustive list though. If you wish to use a kit manufacturer that isn't listed, simply choose Custom PCR when choosing the PCR type on the previous page. Once you've selected a kit manufacturer, it will bring up some of their products. Select one of these and press the next button. Here the thermal profile is designed. As you can see, it's split into three sections. A start or initial denaturation, the reaction itself and the end. The end section is in place to bring the plate to a temperature cool enough to touch, ready for when it's removed from the machine. Simply touch any of these sections to alter the parameters. If we enter our PCR, PCR section, we can see our two steps, one at 95 degrees Celsius for one second, using a ramp rate of 10 degrees Celsius per second, and the other at 60 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds, using a ramp rate of 10 degrees Celsius per second and measuring in the optical channel 1. This is repeated 40 times. There's also the option to perform a melt at the end of the PCR reaction. Again, you can alter the parameters for this just by touching. The plate size being used is then selected and press next. This here is an optional page used to label the wells. You simply select the wells you wish to label and then press edit. Here you can push add to add a sample or target type. You can enter the name here. You can choose a colour for your sample, which is the colour that it will be displayed in on the amplification graph. And also specify your sample type. This final page is a summary of all the parameters the user has chosen. You can enter a file name up here and then press the next button to run. That was a 40 cycle PCR and a melt completed in just 22 minutes. For more information please visit www.expresspcr.com.